Maya. Uh, oh my god, it's been so long. You look great. I <laughs> Oh shit, the feather duster? I've been looking everywhere for that thing. Where'd you find it? The apartment. And you kept it all this time? How sweet. Figured I'd better hold on to them in case I ever needed to hit something stupid. Is this because I broke up Over with Over a text! I can see that you're mad. Uh-huh. But I have something for you that you're gonna wanna see, so just come outside real quick. Come on. For old time's sake. It'll only take a second, I promise. I'm thinking this is like when my cat leaves me like an asshole and then comes back with a dead bird in her mouth and expects me to act like I'm proud of her. Oh, I get it. You're calling me an asshole. Your words, not mine. Okay, but take a good look at him and tell me you don't recognize that face. You didn't. I did. That isn't. It is. Well, what the fuck would you do that for? Oh, okay, well, you're still interning here at the Morning Post, right? Assistant editor now, actually. Oh, since when? Okay, well, picture this. Tomorrow's headline of the post, exclusive interview with shady ass, bitch ass senator, and with whose name on the byline for the world to see? Jesus. He wishes. Jesus could never. Is there somewhere that we can talk? Yeah, yeah, sure. What's up? Not here. I, I mean, he's unconscious. We can talk here. Jesse. Yeah, uh, okay. Step inside your office. Don't move. You didn't eat all day, I can tell. Jesse, it's been a year. I haven't seen you. You never called. You didn't even come to pick your shit up from the apartment. Which I am so, so sorry about. And if you want, I can swing by whenever to pick up my things. What are you doing this weekend? Don't fuck around, Jesse. Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't do all of this for me. You're really gonna make me say it? 
Is that what you want? It's not. It's really not. But I need to know that you had a good reason for doing all of this and that you weren't just doing some stupid shit without thinking again. <laughs> Jesus, Maya. You know, I'm really not as irresponsible as you like to think I am. Yeah? How many times did I tell you that you needed to stop smoking? I lost track after like the thousandth time. And there was nothing wrong with a cigarette or two to take the edge off. <laughs> but how many times did you even try to listen to what I had to say? Why are you getting so upset? This is a good thing here. I got you an interview. You got a granola bar? What's the big deal? <laughs> Jesse, what do you think is going to happen when they find out that he's missing? <laughs> There's no way I can put my name on the story, let alone run it. Woodward and Bernstein put their names on their stories. And the US government went after Woodward and Bernstein for those stories. Were they arrested? No. Were they killed? No. Then what are you worrying about? You'll be fine. That's always been your problem, Jesse. You never think things through. You just do shit. Same old Maya. Always calling out everyone else's shit, but never your own. Let's not make this about me. No, let's. What about this internship? <laughs> this internship? You mean the one that I found on my own? Without, Without my help? Without my help, huh? Who pushed you into applying while you just sat around all day? Oh, so you can smoke half a pack of cigarettes to get you through the day. But God fucking forbid I take a little bit of time to myself to relax a little. And that's another thing. You hated your job, but never wanted to look for something better. You wanted to finish your degree, but never bothered looking into schools. You never did anything if it meant moving forward. Not with your life, with us. No, no, don't you dare. You left me and God, what the fuck was it to you what I did with my life? That's what partners do. We're supposed to help each other grow together. But you couldn't just accept me for who I was. You I did. didn't fucking love me either I way. I did, it's just. <laughs> oh God, Maya, I, I would just get so frustrated that you could never see yourself the way that I do. I just wanted you to do something good for your life. Why? Because you couldn't do anything good for yours. Shit, someone's here. Looks like his bodyguards from the club. How'd they find you? I don't know. Let me go ask.
Thanks. Ah, you found that, huh? Yeah, I was uh, just throwing something away and I saw it. You were throwing away a granola bar wrapper, weren't you? It's okay if you were. Shut up. <laughs> How long have you been using these? Ah, uh, about a month or two, something like that. It helps, honestly. Why wouldn't you tell me about this? <laughs> I, uh, I wasn't sure if, if you would care. I'm not really an assistant editor. I'm uh, still just an intern. You are? Yeah. I don't know why I told you that I wasn't. I guess maybe I just wanted you to think, to think that, that you were okay. Maybe. <laughs> I did do all of this for you. You probably already knew that. I guess I just wanted to make up for everything, I suppose. <laughs> I'll talk to him. I'll write the story. I don't know if I'll be able to get it on the front page, but um, maybe it'll be good for me. But not tonight. No, yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool. It's late and I've got a lot of copy I need yeah, to edit. Yeah. You should probably try to get some sleep. Oh, no, yeah, for sure. But, uh, Maybe you could come by tomorrow night, though. Yeah, just swing by around the same time and um, I'll get started on this. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll, I'll just keep an eye on him for you in the meantime. Get him something to eat. And I'll clean up all this shit, too. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, what a mess. <laughs> yeah. What a mess. All right. Um, well, I'm going to go back up and. Yeah, and uh, I'll get started on this shit. I think I got some napkins in my car I can use. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See you then. Hey, Maya. Yeah? Uh, are we good? Like, are we friends? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 